Again, this, this problem says the position of particle is r equal to 3t squared plus 5j minus 60. Determine its velocity and acceleration as a function of time. What are its velocity and acceleration at time t equal to 0? <coughs> okay, so velocity is given by time derivative of position. Okay. So we are going to take the derivative of this function, 3t square i plus 5j minus 6tk. Okay, so you're taking the derivative of each term, term by term. Derivative of t square is 2t, 2 times 3 is 6, so that's 6t. Derivative of the constant is 0, and derivative of t is 1, so that would be minus 6. <clears throat> All right, so 60i plus 0j minus 6k. So that's the velocity of the function of time. Okay. And acceleration is given by the derivative of the velocity. Okay. And which is the second derivative of the position vector. Okay. Anyway, so it's the derivative of the velocity, time derivative of the velocity, which is this function, minus 6k. And so, okay, I'm going to write it over here. So the acceleration as a function of time, this derivative of 60 is 6 i derivative of 0 is 0 and derivative of minus 6 the constant is also 0 so plus 0 k and the units are they're all si units meters per second square and meters per second <coughs> so that's part a of the problem in part b we have to evaluate these functions at t equal to 0 seconds Okay, so velocity at zero seconds would be six, six times zero would be zero, and so it would be zero i plus zero j minus six k meters per second. And acceleration at zero seconds is uh, there. The acceleration doesn't depend on time, so at all times, acceleration is that. 6i plus 0j plus 0k meters per second squared. All right, so there are the answers, and that does this. That's the end of this problem.